different water, yuckier water that you can use for production. Yeah, let's do that. And then the other well, this one over here, that can also be just for people. That's people water, not making stuff water. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wheat Hours here, back with some more Ostrov, where I'm probably going to shoot myself in the foot here, but I feel we're reaching a period of stability. Everyone got through the winter without complaining about food, either the quantity of it or the variety of it. Few people complaining about water right now, but you can go find the well. You know where the well is. You're just being lazy at this point. All of our new chickens have survived. After the great chicken die-off, we've bought some more chickens at more to our debt, but we've got them, and they're coming along. We've got 12 adult chickens and 14 hatchlings, and we've got the food to satisfy them. The growing season is well underway. The fields are being planted. Things are happening in that regard. And we've started building, well, some production stuff. So the weaver's workshop over here has been completed. And then we're working on the tailoring workshop over here because we're growing hemp so we can start to make some clothing, not only for ourselves, but also to sell. The one thing that came up more than a few times in the last few episodes of Ostrov is the stone mining camp. Once again, the stone mining issue. So I still haven't figured out how to get rid of the carts. I, the carts are here forever. And a few people came back and said, now don't bother getting rid of the stone mining camp. It's there. You may as well have it. It is producing things, which was my thought all along. My thought all along was at bare minimum, we'll be producing things that we can trade, you know, stone and limestone. The one thing I didn't do is notice that I had stone a lot closer to home right up here. So I think for the moment, I'm just going to broadly ignore the stone mining camp and just let it keep plugging along. Some people had said, hey, why don't you just fire all the workers and then you'll have some extra workers kicking around and kind of shut it down with no workers. But I think my, my best plan of action here is I'm going to completely ignore it and see what happens there. So we're kind of at a period of letting things tick along a little bit here during the growing season. Two things that I want to do is put up more hay things. Because if we're going to have more animals, we're going to need more things to feed them. So a couple of people had said put more hay dryers out, put more hay storage areas, make sure your storage areas will store hay, all of that stuff. So we'll do that. And I really need a trader to show up with some iron. This is our major problem right now. We have no iron. We have zero iron right now, so the smithy can't really do a heck of a lot at this point. And no iron means no nails. No nails means no more building. I've pretty much blown the last of our nails on the clothing idea over here with the weaver and the tailor. So hopefully at some point this year, somebody's going to come along from a town that is just swimming in iron and would like to sell us some. So I went around all the storage areas. The only place I seem to be able to store hay is in the trading post. The warehouse doesn't store it. The granary doesn't store it, which is very weird. But it doesn't seem to allow me to store hay here. It's not on the list. So I guess if this is the only place I can store it, I may as well store it. So let's make sure we can have a whole bunch of hay here, if indeed we need that. So all the hay can live over there. And then let's get another hay dryer thing down here. That's in production, as I recall. Yeah, hay dryer. Produces hay from nearby grass. Well, you know what, guys? There's a lot of grass over here. So that's two hay dryers I've got up. That that seems to be an acceptable amount for the size of the town that we are. Okay, good. And while we've got nothing else pressing, I may as well set up next year's fields and possibly the year after that, now that the comment section has delightfully pointed out the next button here. So this field is fallow. This is a brand new field. This field is fallow this year. Uh, don't be fallow next year. Why don't you be wheat next year? And then the year after that, why don't you be a uh, sunflower? How about buckwheat? Because that seems to be the opposite on nutrients. So be buckwheat, and then after that, you can be fallow. That's my plan. And then, you know what? Let's just keep this train running here. And then wheat, and then, and then come on, come on, G give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, buckwheat. And that's fine. That's, that's about as far as I can think in advance. Let's do the same thing for you, except next year you could be, say, 
potatoes, and then you could be hemp. Why not? And then you could be fallow after that. Yeah, that's a lot of long-term planning, and I'm not exceptionally good at that, so I'm going to leave that fly right there. You are hemp this year. Why don't you be sunflowers? Again, that seems to be the opposite of nutrient requirements, if I'm reading that correctly. So, sure, be sunflowers, and then be fallow. No, no, be fallow. And then go to... Hey, potatoes. Everybody loves potatoes in this town. Okay, I've set up a few more fields for advanced planning. We'll see how that kind of plays out as we move along here. Uh, you, I believe, while I was gone, finished off the... Yeah, you finished off the tailor's workshop. Now, there's nothing we can really do with that yet. But the hemp will be grown at some point in the near future. Yeah, growth is going along well here. So, sure... I mean, should I put a worker in there now? Probably not. Let me make sure I've got somewhere to store this hemp for a start. I don't think I do. A uh, warehouse will not take hemp. How about the granary? Also does not take hemp. Seems weird. Like, I could totally put it in there. It's not exactly a grain, but it's kind of along the same lines. How much chickens? How much chickens do in here? Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, 16 hatchlings, 13 adults. That's plenty of eggs coming along, and when we hear hit Chicken 21, Chicken 21 becomes Chicken Nuggets. No traders yet. I could... I could send someone out into the world. It costs me money to do that. But it might be a thought. I would love to know what these guys have and what they want before I head out there. I only want iron. That's my only goal right now. But... Ostrip does not seem to have a problem with me going into catastrophic debt. So for 95, sh oh, not enough money. Oh, you're, you have a problem with that. Oh, this one you have a problem with. Okay. You have no problem with me getting things on tick when I'm buying them, but you won't let me send a messenger for free. Fair enough. We're going to have to wait for somebody to show up then. That's a little fidgety. How's the hemp coming, kids? Eh, it's growing. Okay, plenty of fishing people out. I should get another fishing boat, because those don't take nails. Yeah, those do not take nails, so we got wood. Go ahead and order a boat, and go ahead and hire another fisherman. I mean, there's no boat for you right now, but there will be, sooner rather than later, so that's good. And again, going with the we don't have a heck of a lot else to be doing at the moment, I'm going to mess around with the planting trees thing. We've taken down large sections of the forest here. We may as well... Ah, uh, it's occupied by that whatever that is there, the hay dryer thing. Uh, I know it's too short. It's it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be... Ah, that hay dryer is in exactly the wrong spot. All right, put it there. Grow some trees in there. It's a bit of a... Bit of a weird shape, but we'll try and reforest the area and be eco-friendly around here. Did you finish my boat yet? Uh, have you done a boat? Wow, you did. You just knocked that thing right out, didn't you? Let's make sure we have plenty of dried fish. I don't know how much dried fish we need, but let's make sure the number is higher than what it was. Speaking of fish and things in general, how are, uh, how are my markets doing these days? Yeah, we're selling buckwheat, selling that honey that we bought. Special treat. I see that's all gone. That's sold out of honey. All right, sold some flour, lots of firewood being sold. Fish, great, good. Plenty of potatoes being sold, no surprise there. Okay, I'm basically sitting here waiting for a trader. Because until we get some iron, and therefore can make some nails, we're kind of stagnant at the moment. There's not much we can do. Aha, got one. Got one. All right, what do you got? You have iron. Oh, thank goodness you have iron. I'll, you know what? I'll take it all. Apparently, I can just go into debt, so I will 100% take all of your iron. That's going to be great. You got two more, actually. Now, you have pigs and cows. We did not do so well with the pigs the last time. First of all, is there anything I can sell you? I don't have any shoes yet, sir. I don't know why you think that I would have shoes. I mean, you want shoes. I don't have any shoes. I'm working on clothes. If you want to come back next year, we might be able to do something about that. I probably do have some charcoal, and I can regenerate charcoal. Charcoal I can make happen. So sure, I'm going to sell you some charcoal. I can make more of that. Now the pigs. 
Do you have boy pigs? You don't. Okay, well, that's kind of useless then, isn't it? Because then I can't make more pigs. You, you have female pigs, but not male pigs. How are you on cows these days? You have no bulls. Again, you have girl cows, but not boy cows. Now, if I just had girl cows, I could have milk. That would be more food variety. I, I'm going to get a single cow. One, one cow, please. Okay, so I got some iron coming along and a single cow. Uh, need to hire someone for this immediately. You're only going to have the one cow lady, so it's probably going to be fine. And you can indeed use fallow fields if you would like to do that. I should probably add a pasture, right? That seems like something we should have. How about there was a little pasture for my single cow right back here? And then the fallow fields can be used to feed the cow and soak in the pasture. I can only imagine, given how this game is so focused on crops and farming. If the cow is in the fallow field, doing what cows do in a fallow field after they've eaten, it's going to enrich the nutrients. Because cows leave things behind, and that actually would enrich the soil. This game is so hyper-focused on farming and doing it properly, which is why I'm failing miserably. I bet that's a thing. I bet having cows in fallow fields would bump up the nutrients faster around here. More people complaining about water. I'll put down another well if you want. I mean, you've got a lot of them. Maybe it's just too long a walk for you. Okay, I'll, I'll do that for you. Or I would do that for you, except that takes nails and we don't got none right now. I do have someone in the smithy, right? Yes, okay. Uh, sorry, no, I don't. Actually, no, I don't. I probably fired you because you had nothing to do. Uh, you can come back and, and work in the smithy. There is iron on the way. Also a solitary cow. Speaking of solitary cow, yeah, you're bringing in water. Okay, great. Good. And then at some point you'll bring in some hay or whatever it is cows eat. Or do you just walk them over to the pasture and let them munch on the grass? That'd be good. Yeah, there's some hay that's drying right now. And this will probably be the cow shed itself will be used for storage for that hay. So I don't have to sweat that as much. Okay, fair enough. One cow and some iron on the way. We've increased our debt, but Ostrip doesn't seem to care. Now this guy down here... Oh, sorry, nice lady down here. You just went and got some water from the river. The non-potable water. But you're taking it home. Okay. I Am I possibly misunderstanding the platform? I understood the platform. You would get non-potable water. You can't drink that. But you could use it in crafting if you needed, well, non-potable water, Dave. So why are you taking that home? Are you going to boil it up and make it potable? I mean, if so, good on you. But I might be misunderstanding how the platform works then. You know, now that I think about it, I probably should have put the pasture right in front. Right, that would have probably been a thing to do. Can I, I mean, I know I can go to the pasture. I'm going to just temporarily demolish that pasture and just see if I can put it right in front of the cow shed. There might not be enough room, but just, just in case that, yeah, there's not, yeah, you're going to tell me this place is occupied. Okay, never, never mind all of that. It's all fine. It's all fine. Everything go away. I'll put it back where it was. There we go. I'll put it back over here and somebody will come and knock those trees down in, in a, in, in time, in time. When you get to it, guys, it's not that big a deal. Ah, you are you're actually planting the trees. Good. Good. Eco-friendly here. That's what we're doing. Uh, if you wanted to go down and knock down those trees for the pasture, that'd be fine. Because the nice lady who's going to take care of the cow, eventually when it shows up, will probably want that. How's my hemp fields coming along? They are coming along. Things are happening. What do I have in here? Wheat. Everybody loves wheat. Wheat goes to the mill. Mill makes it into flour. People buys the flowers. Excellent. How's the chicken issue? 18 hatchlings, 17 adult chickens. Getting pretty close to chicken 21 there, guys. Trust me, you'd rather be chicken 17. Oh, my cow's here. My cow's here. He, my, cow, my cow just wandered in from over here. So no real delivery. They just sort of put a cow on the road, probably with a note around its neck saying, please direct the cow towards Ostriv. But the cow's shown up. Um, nice lady, I, I have your cow now. Have you brought it any food? You have not. 
brought it a lot of water. Okay, hi! Um, please produce milk. I know you're only a single cow, and I'm asking a lot of you. But I've, I'm, at some point you will have a pasture. You're welcome to use the fallow fields if you would like to do that for whatever it is you think you do around here. But mostly I just want a little bit of milk so we can have some variety. At some point in time, somebody will have a boy cow for sale, and then things are going to get spicy in the old cow shed. And this better be my iron showing up, too. That would be ideal. Do we uh have an idea of what's coming in here, guys? It's irrelevant. I mean, we're, we're, we're getting the iron. The iron is coming. So, um, you, Smithy, okay, I did put you back in there. I did have the folks empty the charcoal thing, so we have plenty of charcoal. Told you I can make more of that. In fact, they're still not even done emptying it. It's a lot of charcoal kicking around. Almost 20,000 pieces of charcoal. But at some point in time, the iron is here. So go get it and start making some nails, man. I would love to put up a new house. Can I get an idea of how many nails I have right now? I know there's a way to find that. Let me see if I can find that. There we go, in the town hall economy. Okay, right now I have 84 nails. Is that enough to buy me a new house? Please say yes. No, but not by much. I don't need the guy to make a lot of nails right away. Just some. Some would be good. And you figured out where the iron is. Great. Good man. Good man. Get working on some nails. Uh, maybe, maybe we don't, oh, I hate to take down the metal parts and the horseshoes because we can sell those, but I do need you to be kind of focused on nails. I need you to be focused on nails. When we have a more confident amount of iron, I'll put those back on for trading purposes, but right now just focus 100% on nails. In fact, if you could bang a few of those out right now, I could put a house up and, oh, I think you just did. Okay, you're working on it. You're totally working on it. Okay, you're doing 10 now. I need you to do another 10, and then I can put a house up. And while I'm peeking around the economy screen here, how are our food stocks? I'd love to be able to just filter this by food or other materials, but buckwheat, we have some buckwheat. We have no eggs in stock right now. Firewood, we got a ton of firewood. 90 fish, that's not a small amount of fish. 700 hay, that's good. That's that's going to be for the cow, the single solitary cow. Flour, good, okay. Potatoes, always got a bunch of potatoes kicking around the place. Oh, not a small amount of wheat either. Okay, and the growing season has not even, well, it has started, but we haven't even started harvest season yet. So we got a lot more food that's going to come into play here. So not only did we make it through the winter, I got to get that new well up. There's way too many people moaning about water over here. And I've got I've got iron now, so the nails can happen. Uh, not only did we get through the winter with nobody starving to death, but we seem to have a little bit extra when we got all the way through it. So, you know, good on us, I guess. All right, guys, you can have another well right here. Somebody will get along and build it at some point. Honestly, I feel you're just being lazy. You're just being lazy. Now, you guys are all whining about water. What's your deal? This is going to be well number three. There's a well right here. Is it out of water? Oh, it's taking time to fill back up. Okay, what if we said this one is not for production? This is just for citizens. Because you got the platform. You can go down and get different water, yuckier water that you can use for production. Yeah, let's do that. And then the other well, this one over here, that can also be just for people. That's people water, not making stuff water. I'm mildly concerned that the hay that we have in stock is less than a month of food. I really don't want a dead cow in the middle of winter. As many yummy, yummy steaks as that would be, I don't really want that. Uh, where is the, yeah, I, I guess I'm just going to set up another hay dryer, right? I mean, that's, that's kind of the idea. Is now I'm kind of running out of spots to put it, really. Um, any, anywhere at all, really. I, I want it ideally near the cow shed, but that doesn't seem to be working out. Okay, you can have another one right there. I guess more cut grass means more hay, and then the cow isn't gonna, the cow's gonna die this winter, isn't it? I'm gonna lose my cow, but yummy, yummy steaks for everyone. Oh, bad news, chickens. We're about to hit chicken 21. And chicken 21, we also call that chicken lunch. Oh, grim around here. 
23 hatchlings. Would it be, would it be worth my while or incredibly dangerous given my history with animals in this game to put up another chicken coop and shuffle some of them over there? Kind of spread the love around here. It doesn't take that much food to feed the chickens. I mean, it does, but it lasts a lot longer. Got seven months of food for the chickens. We're doing fine on that. I think with the number of wheat fields that I have, I wonder if I could afford to put up another chicken coop. Maybe next year. Maybe that's my goal for next year. We'll get through this growing season. We'll get through the winter. And then next year, expand our chicken operation here. Speaking of expanding, how's the nail thing coming along here? Yeah, you're making nails. N nails are existing right now. How many nails have, in fact, we made at this point? Nails, nails, nails. Oh, 194. Oh, you're cruising right along with those. Okay. I think I can put up another house then. I think that's not a terrible idea because I believe, going back to the town hall... Yeah, we have everything we need for another migrant family, except a house. I can solve that problem. I mean, I do want to keep expanding this side of the river anyway. This has always been kind of a thing that I want to do. So let's get you to live right there. Somebody will get along and build that at some point. Probably not today. How's the hemp coming, kids? Oh, it's getting there. It is getting there. Just really waiting to see when I need to hire people to go into the clothing manufacture business. What's your deal? Oh, you've, you've completed emptying. Okay, well then stop doing that then. You could probably make that automatic, Ostrov, if you wanted to. You've, you've finished emptying it, so go ahead and stop emptying it. Wait, wait where's my cow? Where, where is my cow? It says no livestock in there. Did my cow die and I was unaware of it? If, if so, I'll probably catch it in editing, but I don't know why I would have no cat. There should be no reason that cow is, is dead. I, is it in the pasture? No, because the pasture isn't even complete yet. Is it in a fallow field? Anywhere at all? Wh where's my cow gone? Lady, what did you do down here? Oh my god, did you take it to be butchered? You took it to be butchered. Because somebody, names will not be mentioned... Wait, there's no worker, though. There's nobody in the slaughterhouse. Well, let's turn that off immediately, just in case. Just in case somebody got the bright idea to slaughter our only cow. There's no cow meat in market, is there? Better not be. Where's my cow? Well, the help menu has told me nothing about where my cow is, but it did remind me there is actually hay storage. I, I could actually, you know, store the hay in its appropriate spot instead of looking all around to figure out where I need to put it. So, hay barracks, where, where do you live? Apparently, you exist somewhere. Okay, you're in trade and transport. Few nails to do this, but I think we can broadly cope with that. How about we put you right there? And then, you know what, let's let's get another one of those. It's It's, again, it's some nails, but... May as well make sure if my cow ever turns up, we've got lots and lots of hay stored. The hell is my cow gone? I'll probably catch it in editing. I often do. It's shocking the number of things doing this YouTube silliness that I don't see while I'm playing the game. Because I'm trying to advance the narrative or, you know, make some comment or something or just generally be a bit of a jackass. So I will probably see exactly where my cow went. There's probably a little pop-up that came up up here that says, hey, your cow's dead, you moron. But I'm a little stumped by that. I don't know why the cow would die. How's my house coming? I'm going to stop thinking about my cow. I'd say I spent money on it, but honestly, it's all on credit. I think the fields are getting ready to pop here. Yeah, everything is ripening. Everything's looking good. I'm going to assign a worker to the weaver's workshop. No hemp yet. I know. No hemp for textile production. I understand that. It's going to get there at some point pretty soon. And when it does, I just want you to be ready. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in and set up the shop, get ready, get the coffee brewing, all that kind of stuff. You'll see some folks building a house out here. Pay no attention to that. I know it's tough to work in a construction zone. Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah, get the coffee brewing because I think the hemp's going to be here 
Sooner rather than later, wheat is coming in nicely. Still haven't found my cow yet. I don't I don't know where my cow is. How are my chickens? I'll look at different animals, the ones that I can actually find. Yeah, 20 still on the adult chickens and 23 on the hatchlings. Okay, well, that's my max hatchlings. I kind of do need another chicken coop. I'm kind of tapped out on chickens. Not the worst idea. You know what? Not the very worst idea in the world. How about we had... Well, where's all the wheat? The wheat's all in this... I want to put it over here just because I, I want to expand this part of the town. It doesn't make any sense. It's not efficient. It doesn't do anything to put the chicken coop over here. I just want to do it for aesthetic purposes. You'll get used to that feeling. Right, so I'm doing it. I'm just, I'm doing it. Here's, here's the thing that we are doing. Uh, chicken coop. Yep, I'm sure nails will come. I'm sure nails are being produced, so I'm not super worried that we don't have the nails right now. Let's get that chicken coop to live in a really, really stupid area right here. When they get that done, I'll shuffle over some of the hatchlings and put them over here. Yep, here comes the hemp. The hemp is coming in. Everything else is coming in, too. What's your problem? You don't have food variety? Well, if you go find my cow, then I could I could tell you that we might have some milk. What's your problem? Soil is exhausted. Okay. Why do I not have you going to fallow next time? I don't know. Um, Go, go, go fallow, then. Go fallow, go deep. And then after that, you can be buckwheat, or wheat, rather. And then this one can be fallow. All right. That's my brand new farm, too. What was it? What was I growing in there at that point? I think, well, potatoes. Potatoes exhausted in one season? Weird. Uh, food variety. Go find my cow. Then you can have some milk. What's growing here? It's all black. Oh, it's buckwheat. Okay. Yeah, all the crops are coming in. So you, nice lady in the hemp weaver's workshop here, you're bringing in some hemp. And then you'll make that into cloth. And you, Taylor's Workshop, let's get you cooking here. Okay, somebody's already applied for that job. Excellent. Very good. New house is already occupied with these folks. Have some kids. Have them grow up real quick. Have a sniff around for a cow. If you see one, let me know. I got another messenger turning up here. What have you got? You have some chickens. Okay, I, I've got chickens. I can, I can deal with chickens. Do I have anything that you want? Do I have horseshoes? Okay, apparently I do. Yeah, I guess the smithy is back in business. I thought we jacked that all down to zero, but for some reason you're still making them. I'm not going to sell you any food because we kind of need that, but I will sell you all of this lime. You can have all of that all day long. And that's about it. Do you have anything I want? Or honey. Could have a little treat for the upcoming winter. Not the worst idea. It's only a hundred. Sold. Done. Another little treat for you guys for the winter. Uh, if somebody wants to... Okay, here's here's what we're doing in Austria. We're going to have a contest. Anyone who can find my cow can have all the honey. A thousand units of honey for you if you just pin down where my cow is. And no reason not to throw down a few more benches. The team just love them. They love resting places. And I did put one down... Uh, somewhere over there on the other side of the river. This is a common path of travel. Let's get one to live, ooh, I don't know, right there. You can watch people walk by. It's like the major intersection in town. Yeah, I know we've const completed construction on the bench. It takes nothing to do it. How's my new chicken coop coming, kids? All resources are here. Good, 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 good. Excellent. Good job, guys. Get that put together, and then we're going to shuffle some chickens over. How, how are we doing on the chicken issue? Yep, still 20... All right, Vera. Well, I'll just put a bunch of hatchlings over there. Ah, we've turned Chicken 21 into Chicken Nuggets. Good deal. Excellent. Uh, we are, slow it down a second, Oster. We are selling chicken meat in the market somewhere, right? That's the thing we're doing. Get chicken meat right here. Okay, good. In fact, you're, you've kind of cornered the animal market here. You're dealing with fish, the chicken meat, and the chicken eggs. Excellent. And now that we're growing hemp, the useless warehouse on the other side of the river here may as well store it in case we've got too much of it. You can also, yeah, you can store clothes. I should make sure I put that in the trading post. Yeah, I should really, really do that. You can store some wood too. And you can also, I don't know, what do you feel like storing these days? Store some thatch. Knock yourself out, kid. 
Um, let's get, before I forget to do that, because I will, let's make sure that we're storing clothing in here. Now, am I tapped out on what I can put in the trading post? I sure am. Well, probably we don't need to sell firewood. I think probably other towns have conquered that. Uh, clothes, yeah. Let's make sure there's clothes in there, and let's make sure... I don't know, there's a bunch of them when we make them, because I believe we've kind of started down that path. I noticed that the weaver made some cloth. So do you have that now? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you're making clothes right now. You are just, well, you're making clothes. That's that's what tailors do, Dave. Oh, and you finished my chicken house over here. All right, get somebody who might be available working in there. Actually, I should make sure somebody's available to work there before... I move all the chickens over so that it has food. I'm just going to let that sit for a second. Somebody will come in and work there, and then they'll start bringing food over. I should, probably shouldn't move the chickens until there's food available for them. I know your field is exhausted. It's fine. I, I rejiggered you and put you to fallow. It's all going to be cool. Don't sweat it. If we had a cow, we might be able to work with that information. Oh, and you know what else I should do? I should put a well on this side of the river. These guys here have to walk a long long way to get water for themselves. And as this part expands a little more, yeah, they're going to get fussy about not having any water. What else are people fussy about? You're fussy about food variety. What's your deal? You're exhausted, right? That That's fine. You're you're going to fallow. It's all going to be chill and cool. Don't, don't even sweat it. You're going to be fallow next time and you'll get all your nutrients. Well, at least some of them back. Everything will be fine. How is, uh, do we get any food over here? No, but you're working on water. You are working on water. Okay, I want you to get some wheat in there before I move the chickens. Okay, she's got a couple of months worth of food in there. Wow, everybody's whinging about food variety. Come on, guys, I'm doing the best I can here. I had a cow, we had the potential for milk, but that seems to have disappeared. Okay, I would like to... How many hatchlings do I have? 22. How about we took... Oh, I don't know... 15 of them and relocated them over here. Click on another chicken coop to relocate. Done. Great. Yes, you are awaiting 15 hatchlings. Excellent. So we'll shuffle some of them over there. They can grow up over there and become chicken 21 again. Did I set limits on these, by the way? Uh, let's get... Yeah, well, 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 chicken 21 is a fun fun thing to say, so I'm, I'm going to leave that at 20. And then you can have all the hatchlings you want. I probably should have set that first. No, they're still awaiting 15 hatchlings. They're not that silly. There they are. They're already there. Hi, guys. Wow, you moved over quickly. Do we have food? We have food. We have water. Eight months of it, to be precise. All right. At the cost of some food, I've kind of doubled our chicken potential here. Lost a cow doubled our chickens. Just checking. You haven't shown up, right? No, my cow's just gone missing. I think he just wandered off. We're 2,000 gold in debt. I, I bought a cow and lost a cow, but we've got more chickens. We have the potential for doubling our chicken potential. So I think, again, somewhat of a period of stability. People are whining a little bit, but as the crops come in, that may that may filter out. I mean, I've got I've got basically the best I can do. And we have honey as a special treat for the winter, like we did last winter. That's probably an excellent place to call it on Ostriv for today. Do please keep the comments coming in. It's, it's a weird period of, I'm kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop here. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a messenger. Let me just see if they've got any Nope, they have no cows. All right, I don't want to deal with you anymore. That's where we'll call it on Ostra for today. We'll pick up some more of this again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of the circleless nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. W what does that mean, Deja? That's the strangest thing I've ever seen in a game, and I've been playing video games since Pong. I have perpetually and consistently blown all of my money on decoratives in any tycoon game I've ever played. Finally, somebody has recognized my effort and given me an award for it. Hello, miss. I, I would like to purchase some baked goods and a cappuccino. 
to go, please. I've got things to do around here. 